All right, this is the uh, Smith & Wesson 4006 TSW Tactical, as you can see right there. And this is a double action, single action, semi-automatic handgun. It's all stainless steel. If you squint your eyes, it kind of looks like a 1911 in profile, but it is a double action, single action. So it's a give and take. It's a personal preference um, if you like double action, single action. Some people love them, some people hate them. A lot of uh, law enforcement likes the uh, double action, single action just for the, uh, the safety aspect of it. Having that very heavy first trigger pull is somewhat of a safety uh, mechanism. If you pull the trigger on this gun, it's because you seriously meant to. There was no accidental trigger pull. You know, 10 pound trigger pull means you really meant to shoot the gun. On the flip side, if you pull the trigger on this gun um, and the first trigger pull is going to be 10 pounds, uh, there can be some accuracy issues with that so you gotta practice a lot with a gun like this and then also you know this is a 20 year old design uh, the California Highway Patrol is famous for using the 4006's and they've been using them for a long time I think they just dropped them not too long ago maybe last year or so and uh, they went over to the SIGs but uh, this is a workhorse for law enforcement the 4006 model and um, it's big it's heavy it's all stainless steel and there's no polymer on this thing except for the grips um, it's it's a beast and if you run out of ammunition you can knock them out with this thing because this thing is like a boat anchor <laughs> and it has a bobbed hammer so you can't cock it with your thumb uh, it has a slide mounted decocker and safety as you can see there which uh, some people love or hate me personally I'm not a fan of slide mounted safeties I'd rather have a frame mounted safety like a SIG but it does the job uh, the controls are kind of oversized, as you can see there. They're pretty big. Even the uh, slide lock lever is pretty huge when you look down from the top. It's got a accessory rail. It's not a Picatinny accessory rail, but has a accessory rail, like a weaver style, so you can mount a light on here if you wanted to. It's got a chamber port on the top, which uh, Smith & Wesson is famous for. They have them on their uh, MMP series also. But uh, that's really nice. You can do a brass check, look down in there and you can see brass inside there. It's got a matte stainless finish which is really nice, not too shiny. The grips are just this hard plastic stainless steel magazines, that's pretty nice. 11 round capacity so that's kind of a downside to these bigger guns. The 40 caliber uh, magazine only holds 11 so that kind of sucks compared to Glocks you know, and SIGs that hold uh, a couple rounds more. But overall, a very good gun. Um, another thing that's really nice about this too is that the slide has steel dovetailed sights that are set pinned in there in the back. This one has like a Novak style slant sight with uh, night sights. But uh, having stainless steel dovetailed sights is really nice because you can take them out and put them in, swap them out um, by the user. Uh, pretty easy. You know, some Glocks and some other guns have the plastic sights that you have to break off and replace. That's just kind of, I don't know why Glock does that. Glock really should uh, dovetail their sights in there. At least I think they should. And uh, I'm out here shooting left-handed. So uh, since I'm right-handed, I want to get a lot of left-handed practice in. Just so I can be proficient. I'm going to shoot about 25 yards and closer. Alright, so that's the Smith & Wesson 4006 TSW Tactical.